Alison loves to repurpose things. And here she's created a wreath out of corks from wine bottles. It's rather fun. The IKEA shelves in her bedroom have been organised in such a way that the things that she uses almost every day are near the bottom or the middle. And then the things that she doesn't use so much, or so often I should say, are closer to the top. Right at the top she's got her backpack and a suitcase. One of her favourite storage items are these Provigo shopping bags. When you buy them, they're completely flat, but they pull out into what is virtually a box or, or a drawer, if you like, and Alison uses them all over the place. They cost around five or six dollars. And here are the wine crates from the SAQ that Alison put handles on so you can pull them in and out very easily. The sofa becomes a spare bed, and there's a screen that the couple fold around the sofa to give privacy when they have guests. This is their daughter's bedroom. She sleeps in a bunk bed, but it's a double bed. It's bigger than uh, the usual bunk bed size. So not only is it a comfy bed to lie on or to lounge on, there's all this space underneath, which has been, again, redesigned by Alison with shelves. There's room even for her daughter's desk, for clothing, books, and her pet rabbit sleeps on the floor. The kitchen doesn't have very big cabinets, but the apartment does have good closet space, and Alison has made it into even better closet space by creating um, extra shelving, putting in more of these Provigo bags for stacking everything, and also good old wine crates from the SEQ. I can't help wondering what the owners of the chateaus would think if they knew that their beautiful wine crates were being used for storage. Actually, I think they'd be quite impressed. This is another closet which Alison has turned into a laundry area. She has a washer and a dryer. The um, hangers on the right she uses to hang clothes when she takes them out of the dryer. And you can't quite see it here, but she's hung up her ironing board on the left hand side and she's got everything she needs around her, her iron, washing materials and so on. And here's another space that she has created extra space in by putting in shelving and containers. This is for various household goods and also things to do with their business. For example, spare bits for the computer, hazardous materials, all neatly stacked around the hot water tank, which usually is a, a, is a wasted area. And this is what Alison's dining room looks like when she's working in it. Everything close at hand. She decided to make a feature out of her foodstuffs because there was so little space in her kitchen cabinets. So rather than hide them, she's put them into these storage jars. So it, it creates a, a nice sort of visual point for the hallway as you come in. Her kitchen is just on the left. And here's another nifty idea. These are actually cooling racks for cookies and she got the idea from a colleague. As you can see, not only is it practical for her pots and pans, it creates a feature for the kitchen too. Not even under the sink is there any wasted space. Again, Alison has put in extra shelving. She does a lot of this herself, by the way. She's very handy. And extra shelving on the countertop as well. And here you have the hallway coming in from the front door with family portraits and mementos. This is Helga Loverseed reporting for the Gazette.